Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, it's Tuesday, so that means it's another Let's Play video. How am I going to let myself play today? Well, I'm going to grab some neglected supplies and show them a little bit of love. I loved them when I bought them. I loved them when I played with them. And for whatever reason, they kind of got forgotten about, neglected, pushed to the bottom of the drawer, the back of the shelf, and I'm going to pull them out because it's going to be, it's actually been so long, it's going to be like they're brand new to me and it's always exciting to play with new stuff. I'm going to be playing with some rubber stamps that I wasn't sure how long I had had these around and haven't played with them, but I looked at some of them and the copyrights on them. One of them was 1999, one of them was 2002, and so it's probably been 10 years since I've played with these things. The other thing I'm going to be playing with is something called Play Color. Yeah, with a name like that, you know I have to try that thing. Found it when I was browsing online, and it's basically tempera paint in a tube. So it's a stick of paint, so it goes on, well, you'll see how it all works, but it's an awesome little toy. It's designed for kids, so you know I had to try it and play with it. Bought them a while ago, enjoyed them, and they ended up on the shelf, and it's time for me to get them back out and let myself play. So enough of my talking, come see how I made this art journal background. So using these sticks of paint, which are tempera paint, and what I'm doing is just smearing it on the stamps. These are shadow stamps, mirror stamps. That's what they went by back in the day when I bought them. And all I'm doing is just putting various amounts of paint on there. I'm not even covering it all perfectly completely. I'm just putting some of it on there and I'm creating rectangles of color on here. I can use the same color. I can use different colors. The same thing that applies with paint applies with these. The one thing that I do need to remember though is to put the caps back on these because these are paint. So if I leave the cap off, they will dry out and we all know how much I tend to leave the cap off of things. So that's probably the only challenge for me about using these paint sticks. Now with these, they remind me a lot of gelatos, but they're not the same as gelatos. They're creamier and so they work really nicely on stamps for transferring from one to the other. The other thing that's about them is how they dry. Right now, when I go and put this on here, it's basically creamy wet paint. When I give it a few minutes to dry, it will actually be completely dry paint on there. So if I were to run my finger over it when it's dry, it's not going to smudge. Now you can also paint with these directly from the chapstick tube, or you can put them on the stamp. It works both ways. So one of the things that I really like about these is the creamy texture. And I'm a texture person. How things feel to me makes a big difference in how I use them. And this stuff is just so wonderfully creamy when it goes on because it's really kind of like a wet paint. And as I'm doing this, I'm using just one color right now. Now, can I use more than one color on these? Oh, absolutely. So as I put that blue on there, I'm going to put the cap on it because that's really important because it is paint and it will dry out. And then I'm going to grab a darker blue and just put it around the edges. So I've got light blue in the middle, dark blue around the edges, and you can see how I get a different look with that. Well, I liked how that one looked, so I'm going to do that again. Lighter blue in the middle and then darker blue on the outside. And the colors kind of blend together. Notice I didn't get exactly to the edge on anything, so it gives it kind of a weathered and worn look to it. Now with this, because it is tempera paint, because it is for kids, you can hit it with water. It will react, especially while it's still damp. So as I stamp there, I get a slightly different look every, after having hit it with the water. Now because it does react to water, even after it's dry, if you want to clean something off or remove any residual color that's on the stamp, all you need to do is hit it with some water, or what I'll do a lot of times is just grab a baby wipe and wipe it off, and it makes it brand new, crystal clear, clean, whether it had been sitting on there for a while or I just freshly put it on there. Now these will react to water, but they react the most to water when they're freshest. After they have a few minutes to air dry, once they're on the paper, they don't react nearly as much to water. So if you were to get them wet and scrub on them, oh yeah, you can move that color right around. But if your hands are dry, then this color isn't going to move around once it's had a few minutes to set up and dry on the page, which is kind of nice to be able to work it both ways. So when it's wet, it's really workable, and when it's dry, it's much harder to move around. So all of those things, those are the um, technical specs to it, the specifics, the rational reasons why one might use or like these. But for me, really, it's more like painting with chapstick. It's fun. I like the texture. I like the creaminess. I like how it feels. I love that there isn't a whole lot of cleanup because you just put the lid on it and it's done. There are no brushes to clean up. And I've got all sorts of different colors. Love that the highlight or the highlights, the fluorescent colors, highlighter colors, are so bright and vibrant. So mixing those in with the ones that are the non-neon or non-fluorescent colors, loving how that stuff pops together. 
Now what you're watching this video of course is my play, but keep in mind that you can share your play over on the blog in this week's link party for Let's Play. And when you're linking up and sharing, you can share from your blog, you can share from Instagram, you can share from Flickr, you can share from Tumblr, or you can directly upload a photo. You don't have to have any of those other things to be a part of Let's Play. And if you don't want to share what you're making, can you leave a comment and still get entered into the giveaway? Absolutely. This month it's going to be a $50 gift certificate to Amazon, and if you share what you're making in the link party, you get a bonus entry into that giveaway too. And while you're there, enjoy the inspiration from other people by taking a look at what their play is and seeing what they're up to. And you can find all of this, of course, including all the details over on the blog at acolorfuljourney.com. Well, here it is almost all completely filled in with the stamping, but it still hasn't covered up all the white space. So I'm going to come in and just color in with these, filling in any of that leftover white space. Now, if you remember what I said earlier in the video about how once these have time to dry, they don't smudge, I am going to run my finger over these and they absolutely will not smudge. These are completely matte and dry now. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's play. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up. Thanks for being a part of this colorful journey. <laughs>